these obstacles that we have, these challenges of, of making those transitions, of putting yourself out there, which is scary. Mm. Uh, I mean, I know from my own experience, it is the scariest thing in, in the world that you'll do. But it again, it's definitely worth it because you're doing your own dharma. But these, these apparent obstacles, you know, whether it be you think, I don't have the finances, I don't have the skills, I don't have the talent uh, or you put yourself out there and you fall on your face and yes <laughs> you get criticism or things don't work out as fast as you want them to there's always obstacles how, family members get sick yeah how do how does that though become the way how does that help you become a better entrepreneur well i think that the obstacle is always representing an internal conflict with yourself and misunderstanding of Mm. what is happening so when we're in fear or when we're worried we will see more obstacles out there because in our mind we're we're kind of uh at war with ourselves and so those those challenges show up out there to reflect something in our mind um but i also think that we don't these obstacles also serve um as almost like a a, a i'm trying to think of the word like an incubation for us <laughs> as a as an entrepreneur and this this story is coming to me and I, it's just an interesting story i mean there's so mm. many i could bring up but um i'm gonna throw my jersey new york yankees uh thing oh, no. here. um <laughs> this story i heard about derek jeter who's my one of my favorite yankees those of you who know jeter he's amazing uh baseball player and um uh about i don't know how many years ago it's now mm. uh he uh sprained his ankle and he couldn't play and he was kind of put in um you know the camp where you recover and so he was off the field and that's an obstacle right you, you're pulled out and he had all he can do he couldn't run he could do anything all he could do is focus on his batting and so for that those months that he couldn't play in the on the game he was on sick leave i guess they call it injury reserve <laughs> he really got to perfect his batting and so when he went back to play, he actually got gained a skill through that obstacle. So these things happen. There's something like everything has value. So even if you're stuck, even if there's a big obstacle, there's always something valuable that you can get. Now, he could have been like, poor me, but he used that time. And he said, how can I make this an opportunity? Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what we want to do. It's an opportunity to understand ourselves. And it's an opportunity that maybe we need our, our, like our deeper self is saying, you need to stop here. You need to pause here. You need to um, f be in this because there's something there for you. Yeah. And if we just keep like bulldozing through the world and, and think, I just want a bulldozer <laughs> to the finish <laughs> line and forget about, get these obstacles, like clear my blocks, you know, move my blocks out of the way. Right. I feel like that's actually clipping our wings where we, it, where we could, this is where we learn to fly. This is where we, it's in the struggle, it's in the um, conflicts that we grow and that we become a better person, we become a better leader, we become um, more ourselves. Yeah, it's, it's almost like the, the pressure and the, 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 the wine press principle, right? Yeah. That it's squeezing you in a way that is going to make you better. Mm. But you have to have that mindset of, mm. of What's the possibility here? The openness to it. Right. Instead of thinking, if, if I don't find success immediately, that means the universe is against me or I got to give up and go back to my uh, cushy, cushy, uh, cushy job. Yeah. 